So one and a half month back, one of my friend had faced the interview in Deloitte for the same that is Power BI domain role. Okay. So over there, they have asked one most interesting scenario based questions and that questions I'm going to share over here. Okay. So the question, the question is, is that, that there is a product table with lot of columns. Okay. And the requirement is to write a text query to create a new table called as new product. Okay which will give the table with three columns with three different conditions okay and these are the three conditions of three different columns. so first is product id it should be less than or equal to 100 okay then the next column name is product name and it should be start from s only okay and next is product price and the product price should be greater than or equal to 500 okay so in short if i will explain the entire thing so suppose we have a table called as the product table okay and in this product table we have so many different numbers of column but the requirement is that out of that so many numbers of column we have to extract only three column and those three columns are product id product name and product price okay but the condition is that product id should be less than or equal to 100 then next is product name it should be start from s letter only okay and the third column is product price and the condition is that price should be greater than or equal to 500 of that particular column okay so let's see how we can solve this problem so first of all let me show you one table this is the table okay and the name of the table is product table and inside this table we have so many different columns are there like product id product name color quantity and price okay so we are going to import this table into the power bi environment first all right so let me close this then go to the power bi desktop environment and over there just go to the home tab and here we have options called get data click on it click on excel workbook then go to the desktop and here this is the product table then click on open then select the table name that is product table then click on load and here you can see we have successfully imported the table that is called as the product table and inside this table we have like five columns right color product id price product name and quantity got it then let me go to the page three okay it's a blank page all right so quickly let me create one table visual okay by keeping all these columns in this table so that it will be easy to uh, compare okay all right so first is product id then product name then quantity then color then price okay all right so this is the table visual that we have all right and why the count of product id is coming like this so we have to remove the count as don't summarize so let me do some formatting okay so now the output is looking like this okay so this is a simple table which contain five column that is product id product name quantity color and sum of price okay so now our requirement is we have to create a new table which will extract from this table right so what is the requirement let me paste that okay so this is the requirement right we have to create a new table from this existing table it means from the product table and the new table name should be new product correct and the next is this new product table contain only three columns that is product id product name and sum of price or we can say price column right and these are the conditions correct so for that first of all we have to go to this table view okay because the output uh, should be a table right so we have to create a new table and that new table should contain only three column that is product id product name and price column right by following these three conditions correct so that's why to create a new table first of all you have to go to this table view then here we have to click on this new table to create a new table okay and here we have to write the dex query that is first of all here we have to enter the name of the new table that is new product okay equal to first of all we have to write a dex functions that is calculate table because we are going to create a table right calculate a table and inside this we have to pass a new text functions that is summarize columns okay and inside this bracket we have to enter the column name that we need from this product table okay so first we need is product id here you can see this is the product id product name and summarize price this is the output right so first is product id right so here we have to enter 
product id so this is the product id from product table okay then comma then next is product name okay so product name here it is click enter then give the comma next is price right so you can enter product table price got it these are the three columns that we need in the output correct then close the bracket okay then give the comma all right then just expand this and now here we have to write the condition for these three columns right so the first condition is product id this is the product id right so product id should less than 500 or equal to 100 right so first here we have to write product id okay product id product id it should be less than or equal to 100 right so here it we will give the symbol like less than equal to 100 okay then comma the next conditions is product price right so product price should be greater than or equal to 500 so product price should be greater than or equal to 500 okay then the next conditions for the product name is product name should be start with s right so for that we can write a text functions that is search okay and we can pass the value s okay and this should be searched from this from this product name column and it if it will become as s then the output should be one otherwise it should be blank okay then close the bracket and again close the bracket then click enter okay and now here you can see in the below part you can see the new table okay and whatever conditions we have applied that are showing over here and here you can see this is the output right so uh, it contain only three column as per our requirement product id product name and price right and these three columns are following all the conditions whatever we have applied like product id should be less than or equal to 100 here you can see all these value are less than or equal to 100 right then next is product price should be greater than or equal to 500 here you can see all the value are greater than or equal to 500 right and the next is product name product name should be start with s right and here all the value are starting from s correct then go to this report view and here you can see we have successfully created a new table that is new product correct and it contain only three columns that is as per the requirement product id product name and price here it is product id product name and price right and all these conditions are following on this so to check that just again create a new table okay and inside this pass this three value that is product id product name and price got it and then just click on this first table and copy the formatting from here and paste it on this second table okay so this is the final output got it but still here you can see the value are 111 so again we have to click here and here we have the column colors of product id just right click on it and click on don't summarize and this is the final output right so as per the requirement we have created a new table and the name of the new table is new product okay and it contain only three column that is product id product name and price and product id's value are less than or equal to 100 okay and product name should start with s only and product price is greater than or equal to 500 so this table is following all the conditions whatever that has been given by the interviewer right so thanks for watching